Well, less than two months after that door plug blew off that Alaska Airlines flight mid-flight, Boeing is now replacing the head of the 737 MAX program. King Class Greg Copeland joining us now, and Greg Ed Clark, not just in charge of this particular program, but actually the general manager of the rent and assembly plant, right? That is, yeah, that is correct. So Ed Clark was at Boeing for 18 years. He had only been in charge of the MAX program since March of 2021. He took over after the two MAX 8 crashes that left nearly 350 people dead. But he got the boot today after the most recent Max incident and investigation, which the Renton plant is at the center of. Now, that door plug blew off a Max 9 plane over Portland last month. The NTSB released a preliminary report that found four bolts that should have held the plane or the door plug on the plane uh, were missing when it left the Renton factory. This incident led to more than 100 Max 9 planes being grounded for weeks, affecting Alaska and United Airlines. The FAA is now stepping up inspections of the MAX production line in Renton because of it. The agency says Boeing will not be able to increase deliveries until the FAA is satisfied with a quality, uh, quality control at that plant. Aviation expert John Nance says the plane itself is solid. This was a production problem in Renton. This is not just another MAX problem. This has nothing really to do with that. This is a plug type door that was installed incorrectly, probably in the factory and uh, Renton. So in a memo to employees, the CEO of Boeing's commercial airplane unit, Stan Deal, said the leadership change comes as Boeing works to, quote, enhance focus on ensuring that every airplane we deliver meets or exceeds all quality and safety requirements, end quote. Within the past 10 minutes, an attorney representing passengers on board the plane when that door plug blew off sent a statement saying in part, uh, quote, firing the head of the 737 MAX division is a solid step, but Boeing still has a long march ahead to full accountability. So that's what we know at this point. What do we know about who is going to take over for Clark? They have hired somebody uh, from within, promoted somebody. Her name's uh, Katie Ringgold, and according to uh, her LinkedIn profile, she spent about eight years at the factory in South Carolina, and then she moved up here in 2019, and she has been the vice president of the deliveries position. So she's not new to this area, just a new position for her for now. And that's going to happen right away? Right away, immediately. Thanks.